Emma and the HBFL team are loving their new pipeline. Code is being deployed to production without anyone having to manually trigger it. And Sam even added a Lambda function to notify the team chat when a build has kicked off and completed. Things are going great until one day they realize everyone is pushing code to the repository, but they aren't getting any notifications of the completed builds. Emma goes in to check and sees that the pipeline failed at the build step. Feeling more than a little embarrassed that the failure fell under the radar, Emma starts to research ways to avoid this in the future. Unfortunately, there's no way to keep your pipeline from never failing. It's inevitable and so preparing for that situation is the best that you can do. By using CloudWatch events, you can at least ensure that you're notified when it happens. Let's take a look at the types of code pipeline events that are available in CloudWatch. CloudWatch event rules can be configured for the following events. A pipeline execution state change, a stage state change, an action state change, or for any API calls to code pipeline. The pipeline stage and action changes are the most useful here. You can listen for any changes or you can target it to a specific change like canceled, failed, started, or succeeded. What we're the most interested in here is being able to be notified when a failure occurs. So if we set an event rule to listen on the failed state change on an action, we should get notified quickly. Let's set that up in CloudWatch. In your AWS console, go to the CloudWatch dashboard. Click on the Rules menu option under Events. If you don't have too many existing rules, you may already notice a rule named something like code pipeline dash hbfl dash master. This is an existing event rule that is set to look for changes to the hbfl repo in code commit and start our code pipeline. This is literally how that magic is happening. We're going to make a new rule that notifies us when a pipeline action fails. So click the create rule button. First we'll select the service name. So click the drop down and select code pipeline. In the event type drop down, we're going to listen at the lowest level. So select code pipeline action execution state change. For this rule, we're interested in catching failures. So select the specific state radio button and then failed in the drop down below it. Now, if we left this event rule pattern as is, it would trigger any time any code pipeline action failed. And maybe that's what you want, but let's pretend that you only wanted to be notified when the HBFL pipeline actions fail. To do that, we need to add a resource filter, and for that we need the pipeline ARN. In a new tab, go to the code pipeline dashboard and select the HBFL pipeline. On the left hand menu under pipelines, click the settings menu option. Now we can copy the pipeline ARN that's located here. Back in the CloudWatch event wizard, click on the edit button next to the event pattern preview. We need to modify some JSON here. Underneath the detail type property, add a new property in quotes called resources. Give it the value of an array, and then in quotes, paste the ARN you just copied. Close the quotes, the square bracket for the array, and then add another comma. And then we've narrowed down our pattern to only look for failures on the HBFL pipeline. Now click the Save button. Next we need to tell the event rule what to do when a pipeline action failure happens. On the right hand side of the screen, click Add Target. This is what CloudWatch will trigger when the event rule happens. And you can have more than one target per event rule. In the drop down you can see there are a ton of different options here for targets. Find and select SNS topic. Now in the topic drop down select the HBFL code pipeline topic we created earlier. This will send us an SMS if the pipeline fails. In the configure input section you can configure what to send in the text. Let's send some static text that doesn't change by selecting the constant radio button and entering in quotes, the HBFL pipeline execution has failed. The quotes are necessary because the string will be sent as JSON. Now click Configure Details. Let's name the rule code-pipeline-hbfl-failure and then click Create Rule. 
Now that our CloudWatch event rule is in place, let's try it out. In your code editor, uncomment the test failure that we commented out earlier. It's in the handlers folder and it's the file hamsters.test.js. Save the file and then in your command line, commit it with the command git commit dash am open quotes fail test close quotes. Then push it up to AWS with the command git push AWS master. This will kick off a new pipeline execution. Once the test action fails, you should get an SMS notification with the text we entered in the event rule. Having this in place means any failures in your pipeline will never go unnoticed.